<laughs> uh, hey guys. Hi, we are KAT back. Adventures. It's been a long time. Yeah, and today we already made our stop. We went to Wawa and yes, got our monsters. Got our monsters. So we're still waiting for Monster to sponsor us so we can do this more. Yeah. Uh, but we're heading up to New York City. No. Um, Queens, actually. We're going to Queens. Queens. Yeah. Uh, we're we're gonna coming go. to America. We're meeting some friends. Get out we're meeting of friends, yes. I know. I know. Like, it's slowly getting back to some kind of normal. Um, yeah. But we're meeting hard. our friends Mitch and Steph. Um, and I'm so, we're so excited. We're yeah, so excited. we are. We haven't done a video in so long. Yeah. So we're going so up hard. to two places. Um, one, one of the things we're doing is we're going up to Mount Hebron. Mount Hebron Cemetery because one of my one of my investigations that I do on the side for the last couple of years have been trying to find Rose Mackenberg, um, her final resting place, and she's the she was the chief investigator of Harry Houdini. So I've been looking for her grave for uh, for a Quite long a time. Long time. Um, yeah. And yeah. this is the one of the places where she might be. So Mitch and Steph agreed to help us out and, and take a look. Um, and then, after that, after we spend a couple hours there, we're gonna go over across the street is the uh, fairgrounds for the 1964 World's Fair, Fair. which Mitch and Steph they volunteer to help uh, restore and renovate the uh, New York State Pavilion, which was part of it. So hopefully, we'll get a nice tour with them, and they can take us around because they know much more about the, the area than we do. Yeah, uh, definitely. So, so we're gonna take a look there and maybe. I don't know what else we're gonna do there, but you know, I can't wait. I'm so excited. So we won't bore you with the trip because it's about a two-hour drive. Yeah, it's a long um, time. So yeah, we'll we'll uh, skip that part for you guys, and uh, we'll see you when we're there. Yeah. All right. See you soon. Bye. Yay. So we're here we're at Mount Hebron Cemetery in Flushing, New York. There's the map behind us and the office is over there. We're going to go talk to them and see if there's uh, any information. I don't think they're going to have it because I, I did call a while ago and uh, they didn't have anything. But We'll check. We'll check and see. Maybe we can get an idea of like what section to start looking at yeah. just in case. Um, it's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> Could and be a we'll, long day. We'll wait for Mitch and Steph because we got here early. and uh, But we'll wait for them. And then we'll uh, we'll check back. Bye. A few moments later. So, we went into the office. They, no help. No help. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, it was a younger kid um, that was helping us. Yeah. Air quotes. And... I mean, I, I asked specifically for this. I explained the situation, and all I got was, no, all, all of our burials are listed. It's not here. Right. I'm like, all right, <laughs> well, I know that there's plenty of times I've been to cemeteries where looking for somebody, they weren't listed, but they were but there. But they were there. And yeah. I asked for a section where it might be close to 1968, where Rose died. And he's like, nope. 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 Don't all of our burials are, burials are listed. I'm like, all right, great. So Thanks. you're not helping me. <sighs> where's where's the older people? I need to talk to them. <laughs> where's the other people? Uh, so we're just gonna walk through and see if we can find any. Spend some time, and this is just gonna be boots on ground the whole time. Whew. Look who joined us! We got staff. Yay! So we got two extra set of eyes <laughs> looking for someone that we'll probably never find. <laughs> uh, but. We're trying. Damn. Rudy, they have a snake list in there too. Marvel's gonna be pissed. There's a snake list that's in the back. Wanna go up? Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's nice. <sighs> so, been out here for maybe 20 minutes, half hour. We're still looking around. It's a big place. I mean, this cemetery is huge. Lots of family plots. They don't have a listing for it, so it's pretty much playing a game of, of 
hide and seek um, with like 20,000 people and trying to find one person. Um, so this is the look of despair because it's it's very uh, it's kind of depressing because I'm really trying to find her and it's been years that I'm trying to find her and there's just no easy path. I just feel bad because I think this woman did a lot for um, skepticism and science and exposing fraudulent mediums and stuff and, and inspiring people like me, you know, and, and the work that I do. And I kind of, I have this, this nagging feeling, this, this depressing feeling that because of the circumstances under which she passed away, there's probably not a stone. Um, she, she spent most of her time in a hospital. Uh, last three months, four months of her life were in a hospital and the death certificate just kind of paints a picture that she had no one, um, that she died alone. And uh, it's, it's depressing because I, if she didn't have a stone, I'll never find her and uh, I'll never have closure to this, this uh, personal mystery. Um, oh well, didn't mean to bring you down. I'm going to uh, keep looking. I want to finish up a couple of rows here and uh, rows of uh, stones and then uh, head back, find my wife, find Mitch and Steph and maybe we'll have a, we'll change the mood and go visit the uh, fairgrounds. So see you in a couple. All right. We are walking. Oh. <laughs> There was a ditch there. <laughs> That's a great opening for a video. <laughs> so now we're on the World's Fair, the 1964 World's People Fair. Oh, and the, the 1939. We got Mitch over there. We got Steph. And behind us, there's rockets. <laughs> They're real. They're real rockets. rockets. Real rockets. So hold on. Let's see here. Um, what are these again? Mitch. These are Mercury and Gemini rockets. We were originally here at the World's Fair in the Rocket Park for the okay. uh, whole science, which still exists also behind us. And this this first one is that's which the one? Mercury. That's the uh, and that is, I believe, an Atlas rocket. Okay. And the Gemini, I think, is on a Titan. I could have that all mixed up for a few years. Okay. And that one's behind it, which is bigger. Uh, mock-up capsules, real rockets, and uh, these were originally at the World's Fair, and they took them away and refurbished them several years ago and brought them back, which is very nice. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad they brought them back. They brought them back. Because they look really cool. It's a little miniature golf course. That's where I would want to go. Hey, Don. You got a button? Oh, shit. I do have it in, I have it in the car. There you go. Damn it. That just means we have to come back. That sucks. Look at the helmet they have in the oh, gift shop. So I want that. <laughs> we need Connor to shrink back. Down. I need that. Oh, they got a little suit. Oh. I know. Isn't it cute? Okay. For a grandchild. Want that? I'm so pissed off that they're closed. This is the science building at the the fairgrounds, but it's it's closed temporarily. I don't know why. I'll look it up, and I'll put some like message or something here so you can see why it's closed. Award-winning playground. Award-winning? Yeah. A science-themed playground for kids, and Mitch and I actually went through there. They have a lot of great stuff. This is just making it worse. Because <laughs> I want to go in. I want to play. It's pretty awesome. We can hop the fence. We can make that. Oh, I've hopped this fence. We've... <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's, that's a story for another time. The next time we go to Boston and get locked in a cemetery. <gasps> So you guys said this was from the fair? This was yes. built for the fair? It was one of the first buildings they completed the Okay. Heliport. the fair. It was the Port Authority building. Port Authority, yeah. Ah. And helicopters landed on top of it. Yep. Oh. it it's, it's and it's T-shaped because it's obviously it's the means Tra transportation. This was in the transportation area. And they also gave helicopter rights, of course, gave helicopters plus oh. transportation. Hmm. From the city to here, and the Beatles landed there in '65 and '66. Nice. And the country to the stadium. And it's a catering hall now. Yep. Do they still use the old pads or no? Yeah. They, they, 
you built the pavilion it's, on top. Uh, it's actually like a terrace, and um, there are there's really an amazing view up there. Mitch and I went up there once. Um, That's cool. Yeah. To take pictures of the New York State Pavilion from up right. there. Oh, that'd and be awesome. It's phenomenal. Like you can see all of Manhattan from up there, obviously. It's great. We make a right here on 52nd. Should be a long block up and right on the floor. I'm gonna get some food. So if you've ever seen King of Queens, our friends here told us that <laughs> this is the water ice place at the end of the opening credits where they the drop the- lemon the ice king. Yeah, where the guy come, turns around, he drops his water ice and then they have to go back because he's a doofus. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. We're here. And we're going to get water ice. We're going to get one. Yes. They are too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two of them. Two medium lemons? Yeah. What do you guys want? I'll treat them. What sugar-free flavor do you have? Lemon and cherry. Lemon and cherries. Two lemon! Um, yeah, I'm gonna get lemon. It's the lemon yeah, king. Lemon. It's, the, it's yeah. They're known for lemon. You gotta get lemon. It's like freezing out. We stop for water ice. I'm just gonna put my glove back on. I, I know. I got a hoodie on and a jacket. We're all bubbled up. And Ooh. really good. Ooh, fresh apples. <laughs> Ooh. Fresh apples. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. It just made. Mm. They look good. It's good. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. This is sugar free. Sugar free. Looks sugar. Looks the same. Might be a little lighter. <coughs> sugar in it. No, hmm. I'm here, weigh it. Huh? Wait, wait. wait. You have to hold it. Uh, well, eat the top of yours and then do it. Well, oh my it's goodness! It's also like 50 degrees out, and we're having ice. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. My fingers are turning blue. So you do it. That's how Mitch keeps his hands warm. It's not melting. <laughs> Cause it it's so, nothing because it's, it's cold like, today. It's cold. Look. It's so cold out <laughs> that we keep switching hands like every two minutes because it's so cold. Except for us smart people that have gloves. <sighs> Go figure. The women. Gloves. The women. <laughs> it's because we're men. We're manly men. We take the cold. And we complain. And bitch about it. <laughs> we turn the camera off and then we start bitching. <laughs> So, oh, what do we got here? I got frozen fingers. Okay. okay. <laughs> still. <laughs> still. Um, <clears throat> over here in this empty space over here, where you see mostly dirt. During the World's Fair, there was um, a pavilion called the Underground Home. Uh, there was a pavilion on top where you entered, and then you would go down these stairs, and it was a full house oh, wow. with uh, day, and, day and night cycles, uh, murals on the wall. So when you look out the windows, it looks like it's. Uh, so the lighting would change for the lighting like day and Oh, wow. Cool. Uh, it was like a mid-century modern uh, design. It was very cool. Uh, the builder was trying to sell them because that was the, um, you know, people were interested in bomb shelters, so he figured the future yes. was actually living on the ground. Right. There is a one that he built that still exists, and I think it's out in Las Vegas. Okay. But it's got a regular house on top too, so when you buy that, you get the two houses. You get the two houses. I think it's sold. I think I, I think saw we that. We I think saw we watched that. that. We did watch that. On a, on a like a show that featured weird houses or something yeah, like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we yeah. saw it on now, the ground. What was cool about the underground home too is people. There's a, a there, there are some people that believe it's still there because after the fair, the pavilions, the owners, the renters of the different areas of the pavilions were required to demolish it, break it up to the concrete to a certain size and have it three feet below the ground. Now this was already three feet below the ground, so I okay. don't believe they just walked away from it. <laughs> okay. In the in the um, New York Public Library there are records of demolition, but then again back then a lot of people paid off with the inspectors <laughs> so they can get out of here without spending too much money. Right. Okay. So um, at one point my friend and I uh, drove a six-foot rebar into the ground hoping we would hit it. Oh. We found a little resistance, but it went through, so I think we missed. Um, <laughs> Popped through the playing roof. Soccer, exactly, uh, playing uh, volleyball when we came by, <laughs> exactly when we wanted to hammer it in, so we couldn't do that. But um, my, my colleague, John Pirro, uh, 
wanted to come here and dig to the heck of it, but our friend, the parks uh, administrator, Said, uh, threatened no. him with arrest <laughs> if she caught him here with a shovel. Oh, wow. Or a backhoe for that matter. Okay. <laughs> Can't you do like a seismic thing? Did, did somebody from Florida um, try to, to get a right permit out. to do? Yeah. But uh, she never followed through with it. I don't. I think she had so much resistance. She didn't want yeah. to do, do the yeah. effort. So we don't know if it's still under there. We know Could the concrete's be. still under there. Uh, we do have a friend in California that's a uh, producer and director, Trey Calloway. He did CSI New York. Yeah. And he did a oh. two-part episode that he wrote and directed that incorporated the underground home and he filmed it in in the park here uh with a serial killer was <laughs> using that over several oh episodes that's actually. cool oh. that is so, so cool he wrote it as if it did survive okay and that it was still inhabitable and that he somehow he somehow got through to it through the sewer system or something he like went down a manhole cover and like dug his way right. to oh, it that's really awesome. cool though on a set in california they rebuilt looked pretty similar to yeah. the original underground home before okay the set and, and in the episode, a little bit of poetic license to get to the underground home is protected by sewers. So in one scene, they show them climbing down through a sewer hole, which they filmed on the other side of the park. Right. Right by the and industry. You see the industry in the some, background. Yeah. They're going through some sewers and coming out the underground home. Okay. Through a hole in the wall. But it was exciting. Yeah. That's cool. It's really exciting. Yeah. So this would have been over here. Dig. I want to dig. I want to dig here. There's probably a secret entrance right there. It's like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle entrance right there. We're standing on it. That's right. That's it. And there's the Great Hall. And on all those squares, those are stained glass blocks that are about an inch and a half thick. Wow. And the light coming through is just beautiful. Mostly blue. And every once in a while, there's a small square that's either like an orange or a yellow. Oh, yeah, you green. It's amazing. It's all hollow, huge, 100 foot high. Wow. Room. Uh, room, yeah. Yeah, one day we'll get inside. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, it's open. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. This was part of the pavilion um, at the fair. It was actually two different things for, for each year. It was the Winston Churchill Pavilion. Okay. In 65, and in 64, it was just called the World's Fair Pavilion. It was like a general purpose type pavilion. And it's a geodesic dome, you can see. And uh, after the fair, they moved it over here. This is actually the Queen's Zoo, and they used oh, it as okay. the aviary for their large parrots oh, birds cool. and stuff like that. So when they're particularly active, you can hear them squawking. Surfing in there. But, oh, cool. Uh, but yeah, they they put a bunch of screening on the inside of it. And okay. Put some birds in. Oh. Yeah. Can you tour that still? You can go in. You can go in. Okay. Yeah, you can go in and walk through it. It has uh, paths and catwalks where you can walk through and okay. experience the birds and stuff. Cool. The really cool thing about this building in particular is that they put a sign in front of it that said, "What's so special about this?" Right. You know? Yeah. But oh, that's cool. But yeah. It was uh, it was clear on the other side of the park. Oh, and they moved it. So they wow. moved it here, yeah. You know if they did they disassemble it or pick it up on a crane? I would I, imagine it's I, pretty big. Yeah, I would imagine they had to take it apart because yeah. it is pretty large, but That's cool. Uh, the whole footprint of the zoo is the Chrysler. Okay. There's multiple buildings, well, cars, seats, what? Um I think it was multiple properties, wasn't it? <clears throat> I um, thought it was. I thought SKF was in there, Sinclair. Uh, they were... Yeah, in the front edge. The front edge. <laughs> yes. It, I think it, it encompassed more than one yes. area. Ooh, we are uh, open. We're trying to get to Yay! Oh, so you just have to do... Yeah. Uh, Woman Lynn, that's the new archivist, is... Uh, Okay. World's Fair fan, so we told me she's our champion. So we're in the Queen's Museum? That's what this is called, right? Yes. Okay. Um, 
I was just telling Donna that the uh, they have a New World's Fair collection curator here. Ooh. A young girl named Lynn. We're, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we're talking we're about that. Okay. Acquainted with her. Uh, it was Louise before her. She went to the museum. But, uh, so uh, she, I guess, had been going through a lot of the collection, and she pulled out some things that she felt were strong as works of art. So it's almost like an art exhibit of Oh, okay. Some World's Fair related things. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, of course, we've heard some. Somebody said that because the other guy from the museum could be right. Yeah. That's what this floor reminds me of that, or like a bowl now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That, and that looked familiar. Yeah. yeah. You have all these? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Kenny sent me some some stuff too. I think you sent me a plate once. Yeah, it was. I, it, it was, was I forget which one it was. Yeah. yeah but you, you may have sent me I one think of it, those. that looks familiar because it reminds me I have one from Walt Disney World. Yeah. This is a really famous uh, guide map that they gave out of the fair. Where, where did they get them out? Time Life. No, you had to buy it, but it was That's cheap. Right. Um, but it but it's is, like a three-quarter view, like artistic right. rendering. Oh, wow. kind of and cool. it's and surprisingly it's accurate. Extremely accurate, yeah. We were able to even locate e each one of these uh, pylons for the monorail are in the right oh, place. Wow. Yeah. So oh, wow. Yeah. So it was, it was yeah. fascinating how accurate it is. But it's, it's a favorite map yeah. yeah. for yeah. World Fair. I put in my car, I think. That's where we are. Yeah. It's <laughs> related to the art that's thread to it. Right. The protesters first day of the fair opened. Oh, there's got to be somebody somewhere. Three things. Oh, you put in burning sticks. Cool sign, which I wish I had. Wow. Hmm. General admission, $2. hasn't been updated very often and usually the updates are sponsored for instance if you look here this is Yankee Stadium and that's the new Yankee Stadium. Okay. The old Yankee Stadium is next to you can see the footprint they, they built the park in its place and um, they, they showed it here now some entities associated with Yankee Stadium paid for this upgrade. Mm -hmm. And they did the same with um, City Field. They took the Shea Stadium model out and oh, okay. they put the City Field model in. Uh, is that an airplane course, flying? The mess paid for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that! There's ah. airplanes landing and taking off from... Yeah, it's going to come out in a second. Yeah. Oh, that's there too funny. <laughs> <coughs> now, the original Shea Stadium from this model is on display at City Field. At City Field, In yeah. a little mess we museum there. Yeah, it's awesome. Great. Cool. That is too <coughs> much. But I, and I, they intentionally did not upgrade the Twin Towers. They left them. Like in the yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm glad. I mean, I'm glad they did. Yep. And you can pretty much find. Uh, Where's the Ghostbuster the building? And Ghostbuster building is down Wasn't that it way. Across the park. Found somewhere. Oh, the Dana Barrett's building. That's. We can find that. We should be able to find that. It's it's next to the ch next to a church, so it's facing the park. It's right across from, I think, are those shops, that little, it's on our side, yeah. that little, in the, in the park, there's a, like a little building. Okay. Uh, building. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. I hope you get an address so you can figure it out. That, yeah, it's probably, um, 
Yeah. Yep, it's in front of you. Yep. There's Dana Barrett's building. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wait, where's my finger? Wait. Right there, right in front of the tall building. Yay! Spook Central. Catching a different view of the diorama. And it actually comes up underneath where we're walking. But they got a glass bridge. This is so cool. I can walk above the city. I feel like Superman. Just flying above the city. Whee! You gotta look at the, the bigger waves. Yeah. How yeah. they. There's Coney Island. Yeah. Right there. Okay, it's so tiny. <laughs> look at all that beach though. Hey, yeah, baby. Beach and boardwalk. I remember walking out on one of the piers. Like, Coney Island. Remember we walked out? Yeah, we walked out. And, uh, yeah. That was cool. Something else is pretty interesting. Uh, this was actually an attraction during the fair, obviously, and they had little miniature helicopters that you rode in <laughs> to look at this from, and it followed roughly the path of this this catwalk. They oh, followed wow. the same sort of path that the helicopter. Took. So you take a, a heli uh, helicopter ride. Right. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when we go upstairs, you see there's an old sign they have there. But yeah. they didn't really look like a helicopter. It's sort of a cubicle shaped car on a track. Okay. But you sat sideways looking out a window that always faced the inside. So as okay. you around the outside, you walk. And it's supposed to simulate a helicopter. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. But it followed like this, you know, this path. Yeah. Around here. Mm -hmm. There's the World Fair. That's where we are. We are right there in that building. And there's the Unisphere, and that's the New York State Pavilion. Very cool. The US State Pavilion. The yep. only thing that's sort of inaccurate is the UST hasn't been updated. It's kind of center, that big circle has a big stadium on it, and there's much more, many more buildings. Okay. And the amphitheater on the end of the, the lake. Oh, okay, yeah. They tore yeah. that down, like, uh, know, 15 years ago. Okay. And they never... Yeah. They, they never updated that. That's too late. But you can see the Queen's Museum building there. Yeah. Museum, Tarasan Park, and Tall Sands. And I see the transportation building yep. too. Yep. That's that's right there. Don't squash it. <laughs> squinch, squinch, <Yep>. squinch. <laughs> Are you squinching? Squinch your head. Squinch your head. Squinch your head. <laughs> that's so cool. So that was for the ride that would go around the diorama that we were just in. And you could you could pretend to be taking a, a helicopter ride. That's so cool. Let's talk about the collection. So we're in a room that has a whole bunch of stuff from the what is it, the 1939-40 collection this year, and then that's the 1964 collection. So we'll go through. No, it's no? really crazy is Besides the stuff on the bottom, right. most of the stuff on the wall, I have in my collection. <laughs> There's a few items in there I'd like to have that I don't have. But All right. Well, you put them out to me and I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> we'll see if we, I can find any. Yeah, you can get cameras that were just the spare. Oh, that's them. so cool. Yeah, they, they go for a lot of money. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. Can you see that There's a brownie there? camera also. I want that bottle. And that one. That's pretty cool. I like that. But there is a brownie camera with a trial on the Paris one in the front too. It's really nice. Okay. They don't have it on this one. Yeah, we use it a lot. We see them a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. I have one. Yeah. I have one that Mitch helps turn into a lamp for me. Oh, okay. He just has one in his voice. I have to start looking for it. He doesn't realize it. 
Spheres land located, the trilon was, was right next to it. The trilon, like the uh, giant was 660 feet tall. Wow. It was huge. The um, Unisphere is only 140 feet tall. Oh, wow. It was 660 feet tall. That's, yeah, that's significant. Oh, let's see some of this stuff. Oh, these are Easter Island heads. Let's see. Buttons. Four directors meeting. <laughs> Backpack. Yeah. Extra views. So neat seeing some of this stuff. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is really cool. This is future Kenny, which is probably about two weeks after the uh, we filmed this. And I just wanted to insert this little clip because after seeing the Kodak camera from the World's Fair thing, I was obsessed. I really wanted one, so I went searching and I actually found, I found one. I got one. So I got one with the box and it has all the instructions and everything in it. So it's in great shape. It looks really cool. Um, it's a beautiful piece. You can see right there. There's the World Fair, uh, World's Fair label. Um, and what's even better, and Mitch doesn't know this yet, I got a second one. So I was able to get two of them for a pretty decent price. And this one is going to be going to Mitch to join his collection because uh, he's such a great guy, and and we had such a great time with him. So. And I love finding little things to add to his collection because he's such a nerd. Uh, both him and Steph are both such nerds. So now they have another piece uh, to go with their collection. So I'm so happy. I love this stuff. So, um, the uh, World's Fair Pavilion was. The geodesic dome was right there. Okay. This is like the main entrance. But okay. See the shadow of my finger. That see that like yeah. overhang. Right. That overhang's still there. This is a ramp that's still there. This 
was the RCA pavilion, and then this was that dome, the World's Fair pavilion that they that they moved over oh, okay. here yeah. to the zoo. Okay. Right, which is where the anti it was anti car ride is on here. Uh, yeah, so they had like Avis it's all the here. Zoo now. grotto kind of thing where they would bring out a statue of Mary I think every year because oh, I read about it because it was yeah, like yeah. A, it's, it's supposed right to be a mirror it, it, it's right here it's just a you know, right the the shadows. okay it's, yeah. it's a uh, marble memorial right right and they made a bunch of these models this was the traveling models um, they sent some of these around the country to, to the yeah there's two of them on site. Uh, the, uh, the whole science has one of these also. Okay. It's not on the display card. Oh, oh, this you're talking yeah. Okay. Flagging it. I'm not sure what that means, but Mitch is flagging it. He's flagging it. He's <laughs> flagging it, and he's he's owning it too. Like he's just like, flagging yeah, it. I'm flagging it. That's right, flagging bitches. <laughs> flag it. Flag it. Puppy's got little socks on. Oh my goodness. That's good, man. Puppy toes get cold. Unisphere. Shit. Unisphere. USS Steel. And how tall is this? 140 feet to the top. It's actually 120 foot wide sphere. Wow. And it's 140 feet tall because of the base. It's on the uh, correct axis for the Earth. Oh, and during that's the good. fair for the Earth. Are you sure that way? You sure that the Earth is not flat? Not flat. <laughs> well, if you close one eye, it's flat. Okay. <laughs> now, what was interesting? All the uh, capitals of the world had a little light. Uh, I don't see any on this side. Okay. You have to go around the other side. But yeah, you, you can there. see one. Yeah. Little right hand corner of Oh uh, yeah, yeah. A little round light. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Um, Oh, I see it there too. There. Yeah, you can find fair era photos of the Ennisphere with the light on it. Yeah, That's right there. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Right in the middle. And they yeah. had uh, three bulbs in each one. I believe it was three. So if one burnt out, the next one would uh, just would light go up. on. Okay. But they had such maintenance problems with it during the first year. They were going to give it up for the second year. But uh, the guy who they, who they had volunteered to pay for it to fix it all. So in '65, they were all here. There was one extra light on there, right? Because the iron workers, the steel workers, were Native American. Oh. So they had a uh, like a memorial, a special light put in to commemorate their capital. Yeah. Um, so that, that's one extra light. 
the base was originally blue, and you can see on the top edge, you can see some blue you can see the it, black. Yeah. Mark's is not convinced it was blue. We can't uh, Looks blue to me. <laughs> How are you? So much easier to cover graffiti with the black paint. So you know, right. Pretty much any That's black paint is going to cover right. it. If we get a special mix of blue, then yeah. they're going to have to keep that on hand and constantly keep repainting. Right. Which we, it does. we do. We do that with the New York State Pavilion. Yeah. Whenever yeah. that gets graffiti, we come down and cover it because we have paint. Right. Right. Now the we do the same for this. Same for this. Now all the capitals were wired. If you look at the base, you see there's a box without yeah. a cover on it right now. There's three boxes, one on each uh, pedestal. Yeah. That's where all the wiring, wiring went through. Uh, okay. So if you go there, you can see a big stub of all these bundles of copper wire. <laughs> you know, I just feel like it, it would be so easy now to put all of the technology and go up there and change yeah, the wire. Yeah, right. like... We're still probably talking about millions of dollars. Right. Yeah. 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 reflecting pool. Um, so when you were down then and with the fair looking this way, towards the unisphere, you can see the reflection of the unisphere. There's still water at ran very such cut down hill. In tears. In, uh, yeah, it's like three four And this I'm oh, sorry, go on. No, no, no. <laughs> well, we were just no. saying that um, this pink marble here was the original enclosure for the reflecting pool. <laughs> and, and, um, the tears also had this pink marble that went across, and they actually took those out and made them into the steps on the other side. Okay. Cool. On this side, they brought like the what do you call this? Macadam, whatever. They brought, they brought it up to the That's cool. to the level of what the reflecting pool used to be. Okay. Um, but you'll see on the other side when we get to the other side how they, they made steps. That came okay. Out. It's also cool since the reflecting reflecting pool actually flowed very slowly down towards that end so it couldn't circulate the water. Okay. They kept the drainage system for this and so all this mist flows down and into the same, yeah, end, all the way down to the same end and down through the same thing. Okay. The pump house for the original pools were on the side here. They weren't fountains but it had to keep the water circulating behind this lovely wall that sort of looks a little bathroom like. But yeah, 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 it does. But behind there, that's, all, that's the new pump, the pump okay. house to keep the, the uh, mist stuff going. And they put these nice chairs and lounge, lounges around like it too. So you can watch your kids. Yeah. We utilize this area in the middle of summer. And you can see these are sectioned like oh, the yeah. reflecting pools. Yeah. Right. So they paid homage to the original bit. Okay. These were actually the same, the same marble as the tears. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. What are we talking about? The rocket thrower? Rocket thrower. The rocket thrower was installed here for the 1964 World's Fair. In that same spot during 39, which we can get to in a second, was George Washington. A uh, very tall statue. It was a 60 foot tall statue of George Washington. Uh, you can never get enough of George, right? No. <laughs> um, the rocket thrower for the uh, 64 fair, as uh, you saw before, some of the early images uh, yeah. showed the rocket thrower facing the other way in some artist's drawings. Right, I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna throw that picture up on the yeah, video. Yeah, but th that just wouldn't look good if we took a shot towards the Unisphere from behind. Right. Because that's exactly what you would get. Right. <laughs> you get behind it. <laughs> Which, as I had mentioned to somebody else once, it's impressive, but not what they were after. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait till you take a look at that. He's yeah. got a nice butt. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, 
cast stone, it's called. Those tiers, the white tier of concrete, yeah. 39 feet. That was built uh, as tiers in front of George Washington. There's three tiers. Okay. Uh, George Washington was just here last week, was it? And we made some discoveries about that and located George Washington was a little bit more forward than where okay. the rocket throw was, but in that same spot. But uh, uh, that stone held up really well from 1939. It's still made right. concrete. Right. I'll have to show you there's a little uh, bronze lady uh, okay. from the manufacturer who put the signature okay. on it. That's what I'm saving for you. Oh, okay. Well, the sculptor, the sculptor that made the rocket thrower is Donald DeLille. Um, he's actually he made quite a number of the sculptures for the monuments in Mount okay. around the Gettysburg battlefield. Oh, he did a large amount of actually the, the southern side, or the Confederate side okay. monuments. Like you'll see his name on like the base, um, but you can recognize them because. They all have like the same face, the same oversized hands and feet. Okay. Like you can recognize his style right away. Awesome. Um, but there's actually a replica of this in Orlando, the city of Orlando, yeah. next to their science museum. Oh. It's smaller. Okay. Um, but it's the only uh, other statue that was done from the artist's model. Um, okay. And the stars are slightly different, but cool. But yeah. Let's Did the artist come from Florida, maybe, or? I don't, why I don't, did he I don't know why he ended up there. Oh, okay. I, don't I don't think why. he was from Florida, but uh, yeah. I could be wrong. We'll have to look, we'll look him up. We'll look him up. Look him up. But, you'll, you, next but time the you're next time you're in Gettysburg, like once you yeah. take a look at the rocket thrower and you see the style, you'll yeah. pick it out. Yeah, yeah. there's a few that look good. found an old part of the plaza up behind some of the shrubs. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Hidden. See that? Right. Right here. Okay. Stone. By Londino. By Londino. Dino. Londino. That's how we found out it was from 39. Oh, okay. Middle of that circle. Okay. He was further forward. Oh, okay. Right? They, they fabricated this circle back from this. Okay. So really, if you, if you did follow this around, you'd see we'd make a circle that's closer to the front. Okay. So right now, the front of the rocket throw plaza is right here, but the front of George's plaza was where they're standing. So he, he was a little more forward than 60 feet tall. <laughs> Presented this 30 foot high marble column to the New York World's Fair Corporation and City of New York on the occasion of Jordan's participation in the New York World's Fair 64 65. It felt like a column with its modified Corinthian capital was originally created in a 128 AD. Wow, by Romans in the ancient Jordanian, Jordanian city of Jorosh. Wow. That is pretty cool. And there's Donna playing Pokemon. <laughs> Stop playing your video game. Pay I'm attention to history. Look. I'm looking. This is our ring rang. Your ring rang? <laughs> our, our ring rang? The ring rang. <laughs> the ring rang. Look. Uh, oh, it's Tyler. He's letting the dog out. Okay. Yeah. You want to see if we can fix that? <laughs> I got a crowbar. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll just climb up to the top. Not a big deal. <laughs> now we're relic hunting. We're looking for turn of the century ceramic stuff because Mitch found a piece. And here, wait. There it is. Wait. There it is. Here's a piece. And there's another piece. It's like it's a piece of a tile. Ceramic. And now we're relic hunting. Hunting. Which is okay, because I'll just do this all day. <laughs> Looking for stuff. Looking for stuff. Where's the tile? Oh, yeah. That's a piece of tile. That's a big piece of tile. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
So turn of the century, you mean like 18, 1890s, kind of, yeah, I'd ish? say from 18, the late 1880s, 1890s oh, through, wow. uh, there you go. Right cool. through the 1920s. Is what they, what they covered up the ash dump. They called it an ash dump. Okay. Because back then, most people dumped their coal ash. Right. And okay. got picked up and brought here, but they'd also dump all their other garbage in there. Right. Especially okay. ceramics, broken dishes. Yeah. Open yeah. glass, shoe, old shoes. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, cool. Uh, these little uh, pieces work the, their way up to the surface. Yeah. Hmm. We have, um, we have done some, a little bit of digging. Uh, I had gotten a metal detector permit just so we're allowed to dig as long as it's not longer than 12 inches long on the okay. spade you're allowed to dig. Ah. You are a metal detector because what you find here are bottle caps. Oh, they're everywhere. Caps. So you can't yeah. really metal detect it. But if you have the permit and the shovel, you can dig a hole. So <laughs> one time my travel is we were digging with the little shovel and then Johnny goes back to his truck and gets a big shovel. We, we dug a three foot deep hole oh. about this wide. Uh, which was interesting because all the, the little kids from the local soccer game came over and wondering what it was. So we had them sifting through the dirt and picking out little pieces of stuff. And we found, you know, we found the usual full ceramics, some insulators, yeah. uh, a few interesting things. But wherever you dig, you're going to find something. Wow. Things. That's wow. pretty cool. And you find little pieces of coal once in a while, too. Yeah. Cool. We found a, a, you know, the, the, the loop of a teacup. Oh, nice. A couple of intact bottles. I found a lot of intact bottles uh, at the USTA site. And they yeah. They were in there to look around. Really cool. Resting. Funky tree yeah, that's funky resting tree. by itself. That's resting, okay. yeah. If you look a little yep. bit to the right of it, sort of underneath the end of that branch hanging out, you can see okay. a little hump in the ground. Uh-huh. There's actually two humps there. And we can walk over because if, we, if you can find it and align the two humps, it's the direction of the sky right there. Oh. So I think that's the where... The two cables. Right. The sky right. Okay. Let's, let's do let's it. Go, let's go find that sky right. Let's hump. <laughs> find the hump. We, um, think, we, we think we found that tree in a fair era photographs. It oh, yeah. oh, cool. Like that. <laughs> station right here okay okay so it should go straight across and almost hit the corner here right and i have to go stand on that corner we'll see if it's going in the right direction okay but we are just about in the right spot yeah. that's what it looks like so going off almost right to that blue tent it would, yeah sort of towards the blue tent maybe just slightly to the right So there's a mystery going on. I'm hearing music. I'm hearing music coming from this field, which you can hear, but no idea what the source is. Like for for a few minutes, we thought it was the fire hydrant, but I don't know where it's coming from. And I'm trying to investigate. I, I have no idea where this music is coming from, but it's so freaking loud. Like we heard it way back there where they are over over there but it's over. I have no idea I don't see any sources there's no speakers it's just highways so I'm not gonna cross the highway it will remain a mystery forever probably get uh, flagged by YouTube for copyright Yeah. Right over here. Uh, used to be the Astral Fountain. 
Okay. It was like a really tall circular cage with stars all over it. Um, obviously, it was a water feature. Right. But uh, they took all the guts out of it and put a skate park in, so it's in the footprint. Of that okay. Mountain. Time capsule. This time capsule is deposited September 23rd, 1938, and October 16th, 1965, by the Westinghouse Electric Corporation as record of 20th century civilization to endure for 5,000 years. Are you serious? Did you see the movie Pixels? I mean, have you seen anything coming out of Hollywood? We're all gonna be dead. The world's gonna be done, burnt crisp. It's, it's there's nothing left. And Dude, you're gonna, the ozone is gonna mess up oh this concrete in five thousand years. We're gonna we're gonna uh, This is the only thing that's gonna be left in five thousand years. <laughs> nothing else. None of us. No humans. We're all. No one's ever gonna see what's inside Dude, there. I say we come and just blow it off. Very upset about this. I'm going to petition the city and get a jackhammer. I think we should open it now. I want to see what's in there. I think you have to push the button. <laughs> Isn't that how everything works? You push the button? Yeah. Push the button. But, I mean, it does need to tell them how to open it. Got, it's got to plug it in and recharge it. <laughs> So, according to some people, the 64 time capsule is not in here, but it's right there. Which technically, it's already cracked. So, if it cracks some more by accident, I don't see what the problem would be. We're going to turn this off now. It wouldn't, they brought it away, but if they wanted to really restore the building, they would have to put tens of millions of dollars into just stabilizing these columns. Yeah. And they'd invest all that money, and then it would still look the same. Right. So it's a, it's a hard... Yeah, hard sell. Hard, it's a hard sell. Yeah. It, it could happen, and it could last for, for many, many, many more years the way it is now without having to uh, redo the footings, but they do want to go under and just pour new caps. Okay. The towers, they have steel... Right. Uh, steel footings. So they're... They're, they're, they're stay. Well, on the side here, you'll get an idea of what they're trying to have them sort of look like. Uh, Alright, so a nice nighttime kind of visual. Yep, so there's going to be the blue globes in the column, there's going to be up lighting under the towers, the lighting on the insides of the columns. Uplining so you can light right. the slots and the columns are going to be lit by those LED fixtures mounted on the uh, inner side of the column. You can see, the, nice. you can cool. see the blue bulbs. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tim? Uh, that's the end of our part one we're gonna call this part one of our World's Fair uh, tour adventure, adventure with uh, uh, Mitch and Steph <laughs> who joined us today and gave us a great tour because all the information is from them and not from us because we didn't research shit um, there so are historians that's it and uh, some of the places weren't open so we're gonna try again uh, later we're gonna come back yeah. and, and do a part two and go into some of the places that, hopefully when it's not so cold because it wasn't that bad, but it got chilly. The sun the went down. Yeah. It's cold. So that wraps it up. If you liked the video, give us a like. Like. It'll be a like. And then subscribe. Subscribe. Over here somewhere. And then... Um, ding the bell. Ding the bell. Ding. And then remember that life is a journey. So get out there and enjoy it. There you go. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.